I do have a few prepared remarks and we'll take questions. How about that? Um, thank you all for coming. We're here today because new information in the scandal surrounding the Taylor resignations was discovered late yesterday. It was already bad enough that a woman resigned from the Kasich administration due to an unhealthy, hostile working environment, but we now know that employees of Mary Taylor actually work on the same floor as Governor Kasich. This allegedly hostile and unfriendly, or I guess you could say at the very least, dysfunctional environment was happening right before the governor's eyes, which begs the question, where was John Kasich when all this was going on? Um, I'm sure that the answer that the Republicans are going to give us that the governor is, is while well, the governor's busy, but you know, that's really not acceptable. A hostile, unhealthy workplace does not spring up overnight. The fact that the governor allowed this environment of questionable and incompetent behavior to continue for years is unacceptable, especially considering that it happened on the same floor where he and his staff were working. Over the years, the lieutenant governor has engaged in numerous public examples of incompetent and questionable behavior, but the governor, this governor, did nothing about that until it became a political risk in an election year. And this scandal is just another example of shifty behavior and misuse of taxpayer dollars under John Kasich. The governor owes Ohioans an answer on why he did nothing to check this behavior until it became a public relations <laughs> issue. And Ohioans deserve to know why the lieutenant governor's office was described as a hostile working environment. As someone who's running for lieutenant governor, I know that the job is going to, at the very minimum, at least require me to be vigilant about the actions of my staff and to know when they are working and when they are not. The governor's office is claiming that they took transparent and decisive action in asking for the resignation of Taylor's chief of staff. But I really don't think there's anything transparent or decisive about a governor who does nothing to stop a hostile, unhealthy work environment happening right before his eyes until it becomes a political risk in election year.